Okay, let's determine the domain and the range for this function. And starting with the domain, what are the x values that exist over here? The lowest value of x appears to be just negative 3. And the highest value is just 4. And there are no breaks in between. Right, so the domain is just going to be everything between negative 3 and 4. So how do we write between negative 3 and 4? This is one way of writing between negative 3 and 4. In other words, negative 3 is smaller or equal to x, and x is smaller or equal to 4. So that is our domain. What about the range? Well, we're going to take it a look at the values for y that exist in this function. The lowest value of y is just negative 3, and the highest value is 2. Again, there are no breaks or anything like that in the function. So the range will be just between negative 3 and 2. So here is our range y such that y is between negative 3 and 2 including both those points just because we have closed dots here however if they were open dots if they if they were just open circles like this right then we would not include those points so we wouldn't write those over here we just negative 3 smaller than y smaller than 2 but in this case because the dots are closed, they're, they're, they're filled, right? We do include those points also, negative 3 and 2, in the answer. That's it.